sure she's still out of the time. We're going to do our next part here, and what we're going to do uh, is edit our text and image box. So we go to our text and image, we do edit, and in our text and image, what we're going to do is we want to upload a file to display as content, and we're going to <coughs> put one as a URL link. So I'm going to add an image first of all, and I've got my Google icon, so I'm going to go add that one in, and my link is my normal Google link. So I'm copying that link directly from my URL, pasting it in, and I'm going to do a left align. So I'm going to go save. And what you'll see is it pops up underneath as the image that I've got. It's in the property. I can edit, I can delete at any point. So when I go next, what will happen is it will appear on my page. And then on my page, can you see how I've got the hand instead of the arrow? That means that it's an active link. So once I click it, it should open up into Google, which is exactly what it's done. You can use that. It's fantastic for your early childhood people so that you can set up your text and image boxes so that they go directly to the websites, all icon-based rather than text-based.